we're really intrigued just by this diet, this change in diet from the chef, really intrigued by why a man who was such a strict vegetarian slash vegan would then maybe go more into having smoothies, eating less, um, and we're wondering what was that all about? Well, if you'd like to me put on my physician hat, I'll be happy to answer <laughs> that. I didn't know I was going to get the, into it this deep this fast, but uh, so what we're talking about is something called odinophagia, mm. which is painful swallowing, right? Isn't that what we're hearing? Yes. So it, it really isn't a sore throat per se. Sore throat is way up in here in the pharynx. Pain swallowing is the esophagus and maybe the stomach. So when you hear about somebody having difficulty taking solids and spicy foods, remember they said there's some sort of pepper yes. bisque or something you couldn't eat? That to me is couple, only a few things really do that. One is esophagitis, some sort of terrible erosive esophagitis where the stomach acid gets up into the esophagus and stomach. Number two would be something more serious like an esophageal cancer. And in fact, you know, people uh, eschewing or avoiding solids is really kind of esophageal cancer. And then number three, something called esophageal candidiasis, which these days is pretty common, which is a yeast infection of the esophagus. And we see that with HIV patients very commonly or also other cancer patients you know I, I think that there has been a little bit of confusion when you talk about his long-term chef noticing that there had been changes in his diet as Jasmine mentioned some people were saying you know why didn't he report this why didn't he alert a medical professional maybe he point? did we don't know we don't know that and the other issue is you know again Prince was still performing he was still singing so there could have been a natural reluctance to say anything to anybody just thinking Possibly. it's a sore throat Hot Sore throats just don't cause people to change their diet. Yeah, when people are yeah. avoiding solid foods, that is something very specific and medical. And it's something I have been saying all along, which is that there just there's just a, the, the feeling here of some kind of underlying medical problem. I, I can pretty much guarantee you we're going to learn something from this autopsy. As it pertains to the opiates on the valid prescription, one of the things that drives me insane these days is that celebrities get these special treatments whereby they coerce, manipulate, whatever it might be, find somebody else to do it for them, a physician into writing a prescription to somebody else's well, name. Not just celebrities, wealthy people right. also. That's insane right. high, high net to me. worth, high net worth That's individuals. Insane. Is that not against the law, Darren? Well, it's very much against Thank the you. law. And and there was a wonderful film, a documentary film that was done called Behind the Orange Curtain, which focused on exactly that issue that was going on just to the south of us in Orange County. It's an enormous problem, and especially for celebrities or high net worth individuals, when they get hooked on a drug, and, and we know that people who really are addicted, they need that drug like a drowning person needs air, and they will do whatever it takes to get it.